Good day, fellow learners. This is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you for pointer set number 32. Okay, so I'd like to start this as fast as we can so that we know what we need to remember for our test. So in this set of pointers, I'd like to highlight the things that you should remember, especially now that the NGN trends keep on changing, okay? So, but before that, let us be inspired by a passer who sent me this gratitude note, and her name is Anne-Marie Lawayan from Baguio Central University who passed the test for the State Board of New York. And this is what she's telling us to do. Solid Deo Gloria, glory to God for a favorable result on my NCLEX exam which I could not have achieved if not for the very capable and dependable Dr. Ray A. Gapos and team. The year-long journey of reviewing on and off, including everything the RAGRS had offered, I was able to take advantage of. The online comprehensive review, okay, we have that. Online quick fix mentoring, and the one that really helped me the most, that's the bootcamp in Baguio City. Bootcamp kung bootcamp. If you want to condition your mind for endurance, I suggest the quick fix and bootcamp. Take it as often as you can. For a chill, take your time review. The online comprehensive review is for you. And of course, try to attend the mentoring for some last minute updates from Sir Ray. For someone who graduated 22 years ago with very minimal nursing experience, the RAGRS has helped me tremendously to achieve my goal for 2023. I love hearing stories about colleagues who, like me, are half a century old or more, who attest that the RAGRS did wonders for them. Proudly, I am now one of them. Thank you so much, Sir Ray, for your ending efforts in getting updates and just for loving what you do. You are an inspiration to every nurse in your review system who is trying to achieve their USRN goals. I pray for continued blessings and success. Here's to more years of quality and quantity review. Mabuhay po kayo. God bless you. Thank you so much for the very kind words. And let's not forget to reflect on what she shared. What are the things that help her? The boot camp, the mentoring, and of course, she did our quick fix, which you can also avail. That's usually a three-day course that's done within a span of 24 hours, so eight hours a day. So... If you are that kind of person who would actually survive the test with just three days review, come and join us for our next quick fix. Now, the first thing that you have to ask yourself when you're preparing for the NCLEX is, what should I study? And more often than not, a lot of group chats or websites or informal communities will give you a lot of topics to cover. Remember, their story is not your story. So the only recipe for success to pass NGN is to prepare as comprehensively as you can. And in this set of pointers, let me begin to highlight some of those topics which I wanted to remember. And we begin with Airborne precautions. Remember, airborne precautions would require the use of a private room for the patient with negative airflow, and the priority for this type of room would be a client with tuberculosis. So a client with a low-grade afternoon fever and bloody sputum that, that is produced um, with coughing, and definitely patient will have weakness and body malay and eventually weight loss. So this type of patient will require airborne precautions. Now, what are the things that you have to wear if your patient is on airborne precautions? You need your eye protection like goggles or face shield. You need your mask if you are the healthcare provider and 95 mask. The patient, if the patient's being brought out of the room for a diagnostic test, say, for example, an x-ray, so the patient should wear surgical masks, okay? You need the gown and, of course, the gloves. Now, 
what are the conditions that would require the implementation of airborne precautions? You remember MTVS, measles, tuberculosis, varicella, and SARS, okay? So those are the things that you need to remember. Now, before we move any further, I'd like to share with you our passers. There are hundreds and thousands of them from around the world, coming from 33 countries, and take note, including a 60-year-old from the Philippines, and all of them passed their test through our system, okay? The second important concept that I'd like to highlight in this set of pointers would be insulin. Now, you might be probably focusing on the um, onset of action, the peak of action, the duration of action. There's no harm. However, the trend now in terms of the administration of insulin would be the reaction of insulin in relation to the other medications that the patient could be taking. For example, if the patient is taking uh, a drug other than insulin, take for example, beta blockers like atenolol or carvedilol, okay? What could be the effect of these drugs in relation to long-acting insulin like lantus? Definitely, your beta blockers can potentially worsen hypoglycemia. So what do you need to do? You need to clarify the doctor's order. Now, what about if your patient is taking long-acting insulin, lantus? What should be your instruction in relation to this drug okay, that is being taken by a client? Say, for example, if a patient is also taking um, an antihypertensive and at the same time a long-acting insulin, that's your lantus. So what would you need to clarify whether the antihypertensive could potentially affect the absorption rate or the excretion rate of your insulin? So this is the aspect of insulin treatment that you may want to focus on. I know for a fact you have been studying about how to administer insulin, how to mix insulin, how to analyze the hypoglycemic reaction that could potentially result. I'm not discounting those facts that are usually commonly as in the test. But the, the thing is the trend now is drug interaction of insulin in relation to antihypertensives, okay? So here I'm highlighting two, you have insulin Lispro, which is um, rapid acting insulin. Now pay particular attention to the fact that the onset of action of insulin Lispro could be 10 to 15 minutes or even less. And then you have your long acting insulin, that's Lantus. Now your insulin Lispro is actually an alternative treatment to regular insulin for clients who are um, suffering from diabetic ketoacidosis. But if you are asked which would be your priority, is it the administration of insulin or the administration of fluids in a client with diabetic ketoacidosis? Remember, in diabetic ketoacidosis, there are three problems. Dehydration, labored breathing or cosmos breathing, and acetone breath that could be a result of acidosis. Therefore, DKA, dehydration, cosmos breathing, acidosis. The first problem is dehydration, so address dehydration first. So administer 500 ml to 1.5 liters of your IV fluids to the patient. And of course, the administration of insulin should come next after. Because even if you manage hyperglycemia, it may not necessarily manage the dehydration. So first, deal with the dehydration before the hyperglycemia. Okay, so let's move on. The next drug that I'd like to highlight would be your ritonavir. Now, your ritonavir is actually an antiviral drug that is used in the treatment of AIDS and HIV, and it's also used for clients with COVID. So what are the things that you need to remember about this drug? It is best taken with meals. It's usually given twice a day. And 
if the patient's taking cardiac drugs like amiodarone or diazepam, your ritonavir should not be taken with these drugs as these drugs could alter the metabolism of ritonavir. So what is the priority nursing intervention? Clarify with the physician, okay? Now, ritonavir could also react with luvacetine, okay? That's your anti-cholesterol agent. Your quetiapine, which is an antipsychotic. Your sildenafil, which is given for clients with erectile dysfunction. And of course, the herbal remedy, St. John's Wort, which is an herbal antidepressant. So pay particular attention to the fact that this antiviral agent should not be given with St. John's Wort. Okay? Now, if the patient's suffering from tuberculosis and the patient's taking anti TB drugs, your ritonavir can also change the blood levels of. Um, your anti-TB drugs okay? or the other way around. Your anti-TB drugs could also alter the blood levels of ritonavir. So simply put, there's a drug-to-drug -drug interaction. Okay, so the second thing that you have to remember when you're preparing for the NPLEX next generation type is how to study using technology. Remember, the NPLEX requires more than just knowing the concepts. It requires you to navigate the use of technology. So here at the Ray Gapo system, you will be guided by our mentors who are all U.S. licensed. We have mentor Che, who is licensed in New York. Mentor Francis, who is also licensed in New York. Mentor Missy, who is licensed in New York. Mentor Shan, who is licensed in New York and Vermont. Mentor Marisol, who is licensed in New York and California. Mentor McLean, who is licensed in New York. And Mentor Nicole, who is an NPLEX passer and is licensed in Ontario, Canada. They will be assisting you with how to navigate technology in your preparations for next generation NPLEX. And of course, you will enjoy all our learning tools that are available also at Amazon and here at the Ray Gapo system. So I asked one student, which part of a review help you the most? She says, quick fix and the core shell. Okay, so the core shell is our app with learning management system and QBank. So you have everything into place. So the most important thing that you have to focus on is choose the activity which fits your lifestyle. If you only have 20 minutes to spare, then use our quick, short quizzes. If you have adequate time to study, then go to our Cuba. All of these are in our course shelves, okay? And of course, you need a conducive environment in order to focus on passing NGN. And here at the Ray Gapo system, we're the only one with our NGN simulation laboratory and a very comfortable classroom. Okay, so may I invite you to join our next generation NPLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test preparation class for the NPLEX RN. It includes your choice of live face to face class, live virtual class, on demand and limited video recorded lessons, QBank and three books, plus our NGN strategies. Our fee starts at $3,499, that's less than $100. So, your next question should be where should I sign up? here at the Ray Gapus system. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus saying thank you and see you in my next video.